I want to add an interesting new behavior now, actually. I'm going to call it follow the leader. And I want to be able to toggle this behavior. So I'm going to create a variable for that, a global variable. Um, this is really horrible, the way I'm doing it. Um, but I'm just going to do this because it's quicker and easier. So, and I'll say toggle with L key. And let's make it false by default. So I want to toggle this with the L key. So I'm going to come down here and immediately create void key pressed. This is another special function. This gets called whenever you press a key. And to know which key was pressed, let's say switch key. So this is a special thing. I don't know if you've learned switch yet, but it's like an if else, if else, if else, case L. And this is the syntax. So you say switch, which is, and this variable here, key, stores the key that we pressed. So switch L, and I want to say follow leader equals not follow leader. Is that what I called it? Follow leader, yeah. What this means is it just toggles it. If it was true, it becomes false. If it was false, it becomes true. So now we have, if I press L, nothing happens because we haven't utilized it yet. And what I'm going to do is in the here. So I'm not going to touch the MSA box. Remember that we have um, this application part of the code, which is growing. And this bit doesn't really know much about the internal workings of the, of the MSA box. And then here we have the MSA box. What I want is I want the boxes to follow each other instead of all of them following the mouse, I want each box to follow the box behind it. Now, this is really easy to do. The boxes don't need to know about this because all that the box cares about is we pass it update box with a target. So if the application just tells each box to not follow the mouse, but to follow the previous box, then, you know, Bob's your uncle. So here, all I need to do is if follow leader. So right now, this does same. So the first one has to be following the mouse, right? So if, if the, the first one has to follow the mouse, so let's, the rest of them might follow the leader or not. So we do this. If i is greater than zero and follow the leader is true, then we don't follow the mouse. We get my boxes i minus one dot pause. Let's see if it's worked. Press L. Yeah, I think it's worked. Let me start that. I'm good. See, now you can see that there's a bit too much energy in the system. So I'm just going to slow these things down a bit. And this is where I usually spend 80%, 90% of my time tweaking numbers. So here, I've activated follow the leader. You can see that they're all following each other. I'm going to press L again, boom. Now they're all following the mouse. I'm going to add a few more boxes. It's still a bit too fast. Let's slow it down. Yeah. So now they're all following the mouse. I'm going to press L. Well, that's a bit too slow, but you get the idea. Make it a bit faster. So again, let's look at the code that I all I added was basically that. I mean, the rest of the code was just to make it toggleable by key. All I added was that. The MSA box doesn't know about any of this. The application is saying, instead of following the mouse, follow the previous one. And 
And then now we're starting to have something which can act as a skeleton upon which to build something a bit more interesting.